Fortnite was announced for a brand new platform. Unfortunately, it wasn't the Switch. But does this lead to an inevitable Switch announcement? And how do we feel about the potential for crossplay? What's going on, everybody? It's Zach with Switch Force. Gabe is here. And last night, after the Nintendo Direct and after the Smash Palooza, Epic Games came out and said, hey, Fortnite is hitting mobile. Starting on Monday, March 12th, there will be invites going out for iOS, Android at a later date. But this is a pretty big deal that the biggest title in gaming right now is hitting mobile platforms. It's a little odd that Switch is now the only console or the only platform, really, save for calculators and watches, left out of the Fortnite Battle Royale fun. Gabe, do you think, though, this is actually a good thing and means that Fortnite is assuredly hitting Switch soon? Yeah, to be honest, there was never a doubt in my mind that Fortnite mm. was coming to Switch. Uh, this all but solidifies it. Um, I feel like it's an E3 announcement. I really do. I think it would fit perfectly with the things that they try to do at E3. It is, like you said, the biggest thing going on in gaming right now. Everybody's playing it. it there was like a Good Morning America segment on it, for crying out loud. Right. So like this has like just broken through the stratosphere and... By all means, it's just pop, uh, popular like culture at this point uh, when right. moms know about it. So, yeah, I, I think it's happening. It is a little bit of a bummer that Switch is going to be the last platform, but mm -hmm. my only hope is that they get it right. Have cool Nintendo exclusive outfits and skins, things mm -hmm. like that. Uh, that's what I hope for. Uh, take the extra time. Make sure everything is good. Make sure you can have the cross-play as well when Nintendo, because I feel that that's super important. Uh, Rocket League does that very well on Nintendo Switch, so there is you know, examples of it happening. So keep that up, and I, I'll be happy whenever it does happen. Definitely, and we'll we'll get into crossplay in a little bit. But I do wonder if maybe some of the I don't want to call it a delay, but some of the reason that hey, mobile is happening faster than Switch is because this is only the battle royale mode hitting iOS and Android, and perhaps Nintendo is looking to have parity with PS4 and Xbox One and grab the Save the World mode as well. I also wonder if you know we we didn't get a call of duty black ops 4 switch announcement with a lot of, which a lot of people were expecting we didn't get a fortnite switch announcement do you think that a they are looking to get the entire game both modes and b maybe they are looking to launch these things closer to that september online in order to add value when they start asking for money yeah i don't think either of us are big fans of the save the world mode so look if, if nintendo gets it cool because it is a good mode it, do, it does fit into their yeah their strategy and having like local multiplayer and having cooperative and, and a lot of uh, fam. It's a more of a family friendly fun mode for sure. But you know, then I think it's important to, you have to offer battle royale for free, like every other platform, mm -hmm. you can't make yeah, it to sure. where you're closing that off to people that only buy the save the world thing. And I don't think Nintendo would do that, but it, it, it is a concern. Mm -hmm. What do you feel about them moving these more towards September? Is that part of their plan? Probably, right? We, we, we have a Smash announcement that might or might not coincide with the online thing. If the Call of Duty thing ends up being true, Nintendo can have a huge push towards this online thing. Smash, Fortnite, Call of Duty? Like, that yeah. would be... Yeah, that, that'd be really good, huh? Now you're wanting to pay, and it's cheaper than every other, you know, service. Yeah, and you feel less bad about the fact that it's been free for, you know, so mm -hmm. long now, and... You're not going to feel like, okay, now I'm just paying to, have to be able to play Mario Kart and Splatoon when I was already able to do that for free. So I, I feel like that would really help out. It it non it indirectly adds value, right? Yeah. Because say you're playing Fortnite. Say Fortnite dropped next week on Switch, and then they're going to start charging you. I, now that's a little dicey, and maybe it puts them between a rock and a hard place because now they have to hold off on Fortnite. Or maybe it genuinely isn't ready, but I do feel like this it's on everything so why would it not be on switch they have an incredible ecosystem they have an amazing and ever-growing user base it just seems like it has to happen and an epic and the fortnite team said we believe this is the future of games the same game on all platforms console quality graphics and action play when you want where you want it doesn't say play when you want where you want just not on nintendo it doesn't say the same game on all platforms except nintendo i, I think their goal is eventually to expand this um as far as they can now crossplay is something that they are bringing to mobile so playstation 4 pc mac ios and eventually android will be able to play together you mentioned rocket league are we thinking nintendo gets in on this action and offers crossplay for fortnite yeah i i really do nintendo doesn't seem to be opposed to the idea right mm -hmm. if they let rocket league do it as long as the developers can all work it out and sony seems to be on board with this game at least Mm -hmm. I see no reason why Nintendo would be like, no, Nintendo-only people. Like, 
Yeah. It, it's not like you're going to be hearing like the obscenities like that happen in Fortnite. There is some obscene stuff that, that people do in right. voice chat. But since Switch doesn't really do voice Don't chat. Don't worry about that. Yeah, that's not something you're going to have to worry about. So yeah. yeah, I'm not exactly sure where the streams will cross, um, but having cross-play and cross-progression is great. I was genuinely shocked when they said it's not just progression, but it's also play um, mm -hmm. for the compatibility with the, the mobile versions. But I think this is very good news, actually. I don't look at it as a negative. I look at it as a positive. If it's hitting iPhone and Android, it's pretty much got to come to Switch. And hopefully, like you mentioned, they'll do some interesting things. And given the fact that it is late to the party, add some some fun extras like Nintendo themed outfits or skins or things of that sort. And I, I would look for them to bring both modes. I think they will want parity with the other consoles. That makes the most sense. Let us know in the comments down below your take on Fortnite. It hits mobile starting next week. Do you feel that that will lead more positively or negatively to a Switch announcement? And how do you feel about crossplay? Where do you peg this thing releasing? And any other ideas or thoughts you have on Fortnite? We'd love to hear them. So let us know in the comments down below. In the meantime, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out our Discord and our Twitter. Links in the description below. Until that time, everybody, have a fantastic day. For myself and Gabe, Switch Force.